Hello and welcome to 100 Days of Summer. I'm Christian Page. Thanks for joining me. So we've now entered into the quarantine series. Um, I arrived yesterday. I've been here 24 hours uh, settling in uh, and finding my feet as, we, as I now adjust to this next phase in my journey uh, to <laughs> counting down to the last few days of, the, of 100 Days of Summer, but to the opening ceremony, the games. Um, and obviously, this is quite a different experience. Um, if I roll back in time, and I've been <laughs> a little bit of time to reflect on this today, my journey with Tokyo 2020 started in 2017, like most people after Rio 2016. Um, I think I was here, my first trip was in 2017, and I've done subsequent trips after that each year. Uh, my last trip was late 2019 coming out here, uh, and then I was abroad and doing the uh, working with the boxing task force, uh, doing the boxing qualifiers for the African nations in Dakar um, around the February March time of 2020. But it wasn't very long after that. We'd done TR1 in March uh, 2020, and it was when the postponement was first announced. Um, and so. You know, we were all gearing up and ready to be here on the ground and making those preparations. Obviously, the postponement, a lot of work has gone into dealing with what the postponement presented in terms of operational delivery and the impact and how to facilitate and the safe and secure delivery of the games. A lot of work um, and, in, and, and all credit to the teams and everyone involved in facilitating what's now in play. All the playbooks are up to diff the new versions of those have just been released. Um, just constantly monitoring and adapting and changing as, as things have changed over this last 12 months. But that's a five year journey. Um, so it was quite strange to finally find myself here uh, in Tokyo, in Ginza, um, finally here to, to work on, on the games. Um, but I've got to say the strangest thing is, and as anyone who works in major events, world events, uh, any event actually, sport or otherwise, you don't normally arrive into the, into the city where you're doing your event and then have to kind of pause and spend 14 days in your hotel. Um, this is a totally new experience for me and for I know everyone who's arriving at the moment. Um, I know there's been some great pioneers who've been experiencing different forms of quarantine and different, you know, there's been different accommodations, different methodologies, different processes every time, um, which everyone's adapted to and really grateful, like I say, to, to have the processes ironed out for us. But thank you for those pioneers, like people like John Giancarlo, who's actually returning today to go and, as I say, sharpen his axe and, and prepare for this last push. Um, he's been, you know, here relentlessly working with the Tokyo team, uh, also Gavin McAlpine and the Games Delivery and Xavier Becker, obviously. All these, these, these teams and these people, a lot of people supporting them to, to really help understand how do we, how are we going to pro manage these processes and all these different workflows which are new and different. So like I say, for me, it's very strange to arrive into a host city. I'm um, usually, you know, get your boots on straight down to the venue or to the venues, to the TOC, to the operations center, you know, get, get a feel of it, find the edges of the puzzle as I like to describe it and work out where we're going to go. Um, this time to be said, okay, just, um, yep, great to have you here, but you need to just sit in your hotel for 14 days. Understand the reasons why, but obviously it's a very different process and and a little takes a little bit of adjustment. Um, I can't help but feeling like you know I check my time and I'm still adjusting to the time zone, and I kind of went, all right, we should be meeting someone. No, I can't. I'm not going anywhere, uh, so I'll prep, prep my meal and uh, and carry on. But what's next? As I mentioned, John Paul's gone home, Stu and I arrived uh, today, and there's more people arriving over the coming days. Um, so this will see a bit of a step change in the, the momentum. Um, we will see the TOC, the Technology Operations Center, goes 7-7, uh, seven, seven, so seven days a week. Uh, we won't be full 24 hours yet. That's a little, ways to, a little ways off, but obviously that means that we can facilitate and support the teams doing all the bump-ins and all the load-ins and all of those elements that are going into the venues. Now, before I move on, I had a great question from my, my very good friend, Olya Abbasalo. Hi, Olya. Um, I was, we were saying farewell the other day. Uh, she said to me, I've been watching videos, um, but I, what's, a, what's a bump in? Um, and I said, oh, great question. Thank you so much for asking. And I said, oh, I will do my best to answer it. And I forget sometimes. Not everybody works in events uh, who may be watching this or familiar with some of the terminology. So if you do hear anything I say, please just shout out and let me know and I can uh, do my best to answer it. But a bump in is actually when we load all of the equipment, we literally bump it into the venue. Um, and the bump in phase is 
pre-lockdown, so before we do all the security sweeps and lock the venue down, this allows us to get all of the equipment and catering equipment, anything you can imagine that has to get into the venue before we secure it, uh, that usually happens in that bump-in phase. Um, so there we go, so th that's what we're doing. We're finalizing those bump-ins, um, all the equipment's arriving on venue, and, and this is where we're into the, that final last really really is that last mile um, and then we're going to be working mostly on coordination you can imagine seven years of planning condensed into these last hundred days of delivery you know the venues have been tested and tried and a lot of the, a lot of the core elements are there um, but now it really is you've got the, the, the mass influx of, of of workforce you've got the mass influx of you know operational technical officials and press and media and all these people all of a sudden you know you've got to adjust to all of these workflows and make sure your processes are working as of anything the games is all about change so we've got to adjust to the changes and that's where we'll, we'll be supporting the teams looking at those making sure that everything's working as pretty much as planned uh, and then helping iron out where there may be wrinkles in some of those workflows or processes. But I say we're really just here as a supporting function to, to really sort of help the teams. We've done it a few times before and generally can pick up a few things that may, we may, may have experienced in the past and that's really where we, we roll in with our support to help, help the teams here. So that's where we're up to. Um, wherever you are, stay safe, stay healthy. It's great to be here in Tokyo. I'm really grateful to be here. Um, and I look forward to counting down this little mini countdown of quarantines as we go through these next 13 days to go. Okay, wherever you are, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.